you and Ron and me all strolling through the lobby, and the guy always had the conniption fit. It's all of you. Well, we have a we have a clip from Michael's episode, and Richard, you're in a hotel room with Michael's wife. He is not delighted to see you two together because it's obvious that something's going on that he doesn't quite like, and uh, you'll love this couple. Get ready for a mouthful of tits. This happened. What the? What the? No, no, I kill you tonight. Oh, Jesus, I was in that accident in my own goddamn bedroom to find my wife. What the hell are you doing, Pastor? She, Jackson's going into the change. Is that the more comfortable? I did. I put flats on. You was killing me. You went into the bathroom to get. Who eats pie in a bathroom? Where the hell is she supposed to find that much goddamn counter space in a hotel? You can look off the balcony, you son of a bitch. The show is called Kings of Con, and then you go to ComicConHQ.com to check it out. There's a dash between comic and con. Yeah, we have like to say it's comic hyphen con HQ. There you go. I just think the people who Google it.
driving hot steam like this. He parked the vehicle in one of the area parking garages. Um, after the concert, he searched and could not find the car. He says he spent five days <laughs> looking for the car and couldn't find it. Is that he? I mean, the only way that works because at some point most of the cars file out of there, and there are very few left, and you can see your own car. Right. Unless that's he was like, at the, unless he's the wrong parking garage. But you, in five days, you could look at every parking garage in a four-mile radius. I'm yeah. going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's a Stone Roses fan. Maybe it was towed after one day. Oh, that's possible. Yeah. Uh, so that was so that was June. Okay. Now, in August. <laughs> In August, the owner of the car emailed local companies and government to see if it had been found. So the guy borrowed it in June, couldn't find it, went back to Scotland. The owner didn't really care at that point until August. And then he's like, hey, you know what? It's been two months. And that car should have been found by now. So he calls him and finds out. Now, officers say that they happened on the abandoned car in one of the area lots just before midnight that night that the guy called. And he said, oh, this must have been the car that was lost since June. We can't imagine what the ticket must have been, said the officer. And they tweeted that they had found the car in this lot. And so they had been there the whole time. Yes, but in one room with a police officer, not the guy back who had emailed them. They tweeted it just out to the general public. Yeah. We found the BMW in an area park. Right. Does anybody know who it belongs yeah, to? I'm with you. This is uh, this is shaking. There's no one in this story could be can be believed, right? Yeah, a lot of people not making sense here. A uh, man suspected oh <laughs> man suspected of having sex with a van. Now, now how do you do that, Boone? Well, I mean yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. right. A man in Dayton, Ohio was facing indecency charges after a witness reported him attempting to have sex with a van parked on the street. Officers responded to him in his own car. Somebody else's. Somebody else's. That's just It's all, but it's hotter when you do somebody else's. Okay. Officers responded to a call Tuesday found him a 35 year old Michael Vinson a blackout on the front line. They got him up. Apparently, he was taken into the, put into the back of the squad car. He talked to the woman who made the call to the police who saw the man having sex with the van. She said she saw him pulled up in his shorts and then put his genitals into the front grill. Oh, oh. wow, I didn't see that coming. Front grill. Hmm, that seems bad, right? I mean, I know that we're trying to make a distinction between which part of the car to have sex with. Yeah. That is what we're doing, right? The tailpipe. Front grill? Yeah, I don't think. No comparison. There's no comparison there. And finally, this one is for Bean. Dumb. How long has your uh, rose plant uh, your nose been running, Bean? How long have you been sick and not gone to the doctor? Just since last uh, Thursday, so we're what? It's day, day seven. Okay, well, Bean is, he'll have it for another two weeks before he'll even sure. consider going to the doctor. Here's a man named Joe Nagy, whose nose ran, um, it wouldn't stop running for about a year and a half. Okay. Oh, well, that's a problem. At first, he said, oh, it's allergies. It's just allergies. And that happens, and people with allergies learn 